Good morning. This is Bill from Audi Europa Naples, and today I have this fantastic Jeep Wrangler. Uh, this is a 2008 Sahara. Uh, it is finished in black outside. It's got gray cloth inside. And you know, there are a few things in the world that have been steadier, more reliable, more reliably, you know, unique than a Jeep. And uh, they've been making them for many, many years. And well, frankly, a very similar uh, incarnation. In fact, the design team at Jeep probably, you know, has one of the most sought after, laziest jobs in world history in terms of not really having to think that hard about a new one. But yeah, what do you know? I mean, there's a lot of similarities between the Jeep Patton drove around in uh, and uh, this Jeep today, although of course they are completely different. Uh, again, you can see this is a Sahara model, so slightly upmarket, you know, a few more options. It's got the removable three-piece hard tops you can pop off what's uh, essentially t-tops up front in a hurry without having to take the whole thing off got big alloy wheels very fresh uh, bridgestone dueler tires tons of meat left on them uh, it's uh, you know great color combo and it has a manual transmission which of course every jeep purist is going to tell you you have to have uh, i also think uh, a jeep should have two doors but you know whatever your mileage may vary uh you can see this one is very clean more of a city prowler than a an off-roader been uh, very well kept you're probably going to find it in a whole foods parking lot more than a mud bog somewhere uh very straight all around very well kept always been garaged nice black paint on there you can see the uh big uh uh, composite fenders it's got the running boards again those uh, five star uh, meaty alloys uh, got a spare tire in the back with a cover um, you know what a fantastic vehicle they really just have always been terrific and uh, and you know what they're damn good investments I tell you what these things hold their value uh, probably better than any other vehicle that I've ever dealt in uh, sometimes to the point of being shocking all right let's have a look in the back Anybody who's ever had a Jeep will recognize all of this, even, you know, Daisy Duke and uh, that old TV show. All right, back here, uh, you've got a subwoofer, which is nice, but you've got a uh, nice area to put stuff. There's the factory mat still with the car. Uh, it's got back seats in place, very nice. They fold forward if you need cargo. Uh, you can see the big uh, roll bar there, padded speakers up top. This thing has a pretty good stereo and uh, everything neat and as it should be. Nice bumper with the cutout for the spare, you know, beautiful contrasting, big tow hook there. Uh, you know, very much a, uh, you know, purpose-filled vehicle. Also the rear wiper up top, kind of cool stuff. Have a look under the hood. So this thing has a 3.8 liter, six cylinder engine. Puts out about 200 horsepower. Uh, very reliably, uh, nice and smooth, proper, uh, no issues under there, runs and drives exactly as it should. Uh, and that is a terrific engine to move this thing down the road. Again, you can see up front, very nice, no rock chips or beat ups or scratches. The lenses and lights are nice and clear. You've got some fogs in the front bumper there, more big tow hooks. And just look at the ground clearance this thing has. Of course, that's what makes Jeep so cool is their incredible off-road ability. If you wanna get somewhere where no one else is, this is the way to do it. All right, so of course, lockable doors, they are removable. Still, you know, Jeep has held true to all that stuff. The, uh, the front uh, doors do come off, the hard top comes off. Uh, you know, you can, you can move this thing just about any way you want. There's probably no more vehicle other than a VW Beetle that has more available accessories for it. Look at this, look at the way the seat belt jammed up. Get that nice again. <laughs> All right, here you can see those great cloth seats, obviously never been wet or submerged. Very, very nice and proper. No tears, no rips, no entryware. Uh, of course, the upgraded interior from the Sahara. Nice door panels here. You've got big mirrors on both sides. Of course, window cranks. I like the treaded, you know, corrugated looking pattern on the uh, on the door panels and all around. Nice leather steering wheel on it. And, uh, well, let's, well, should we hop in or I'll show you the back seat. Not a bad place to be. Very comfy back there. Plenty of room for two or three adults and uh, everyone will be pretty chipper. Oh, and up top, look at that. There's the quick releases for the 
uh, the T-top roof, so to speak. So you can have the driver's side off, the passenger side off, or both with no problem. Nice solid door close there. All right, so here we are nicely ensconched in our tall seating position. See that big smooth six fires right to life. Got a flashing e-brake warning. Let's get some AC going. Just a little bit this morning, it's kind of cold. Kind of cold, yeah, kind of baking hot out there. You guys up north don't know how lucky you are sometimes. All right, so 72,000 miles on the clock. Uh, there you can see a nice whole driver information center. Uh, just the correct amount of gauges, not more than you need, not less than you need. Just keep your eye on the temp and you know you're good to go. Uh, over here you've got um, a very nice in-dash unit with Bluetooth, satellite radio, that sort of thing. Let's get our, what should I call it up? <clears throat> there we go. Uh, and uh, you can see, you know, everything that you need to make a call or listen to radio. We got satellite, yeah, satellite radio, nice stuff, very proper. Uh, down here, you've got your four wheel drive uh, transfer case controls. You've got a six speed manual gearbox. Uh, you got a couple of power outlets there. Nice big grab bar, you know. I love these tweets up on top of the dash. Um, very unique feeling behind the wheel of one of these. Let's go for a spin. So, you know, going down the road is not really the correct, uh, you know, way to test this thing. <laughs> we should be out in the woods going over log piles and such. Oh, you can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's not my Jeep. Not really. Okay, nice smooth shifting. Uh, again, this is very light duty for a vehicle like this, which is designed to uh, encounter very rugged terrain. But uh, it does show us a few things. And one is that the tires are nice and smooth. They haven't been cupped or screwed up. They don't vibrate. No heavy vibration from the wheel. Just nice, smooth driving. So, uh, you know, this thing has been groomed on city streets. What is he waiting for? He could have gone ages ago. I was going to go and drive slow. Look for a house or something. Uh, anyway, um, there it is. Nice feel from the clutch. Great feel from the brakes. Nice, smooth driving. Uh, you know, just a fantastic Jeep. So uh, the joy of these things is you can buy them, you can drive them, you keep them nice, and they're going to be worth almost what you paid two or three years later. And that's the uh, the beauty, particularly when you're talking about one as cool as a, you know, black six-speed manual Sahara with a hard top. I mean, that's going to be one people are looking for. So uh, if you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300 on the web. Look at it. I, I wasn't wrong. It's like Mr. Magoo up there. Uh, 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care. Slow down. You're like a blur.